Dad, I um, heard about Nick and Brooke. I know they're engaged in Hawaii. It must be killing you. I don't want to talk about it. Just know if you ever do want to talk about it. I miss Brooke. And the girls do too. We all miss her. So we kind of understand what you're going through. So sorry, Dad. Dad, figured you probably haven't eaten in a while. Thanks. Like a tornado hit this place. Ridge? I'm surprised to see you. Yeah? I just wanted to thank you. For what? Uh, a little present you left me earlier. What? Oh, oh! Oh, the, the sketch pad and the, the yeah, pencils? Yeah, 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 and, yeah all yeah. those. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, it turns out that that was exactly what I needed. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought it might be. With uh, Nick and... Brooke engaged, and over there in Hawaii, I figured I could either go over there and beat him to a pulp, mm -hmm. or I could put my energies into something into constructive. Into your creativity? Yeah. Your artistry? Yeah. Hmm. You are an artist, Ridge. Come on. You're not a sailor. Yeah. I have something for you. Really? Wouldn't be designs, would it? <laughs> well, come on, don't keep me in suspense. Let me see. I'm a little rusty. Oh, wow. Look at that. Well, this is... This is breathtaking, right? Yeah. Sensual. Clearly inspired. My God. These are really going to put Logan on the map. I don't think so. I mean, you don't think so. Brooke's going to go nuts over these. Are you kidding? They're phenomenal. Uh, there's something about these uh, that really screams Forrester creations, don't you think? What are you saying? I'm saying that even though I have Massimo Moroni's blood flowing through my veins, in my heart, I've only had one father. You're the man who raised me, was there for me, taught me so much of what I know. I want to come back to Forrester, to be a team with you again, just like we used to be. I think you're at the top of your game, Dad, and I want to be right there designing with you. It's almost too much to hope for right now. And now here you are. I want this again. I want to come back to where I grew up. 
And I realize I've put you through a hell of a lot no, the last no, while. No, don't you do that. Don't, don't you... Don't you apologize. Just to hear you say those words, that you want to come back here to Forrester, means more to me than anything. Anything. I want to come back here to my old office. I want to be right across the hall from you. I think you are at the top of your game, Dad, and I want to be right there beside you. The two of us run in this place just like we used to. But I need to know that you want this too. <laughs> of course I want it. I've wanted this for so long. Ridge, of course I want you back here. It means so much to me to hear you say those words. And now you're back home. My number one son. Back where he's supposed to be. You're my number one son. That's never gonna change. Still as happy as I am to have you back here at Forrester, it's not the same company it was. Well, look, I'm not the same man. Neither are you. But you're back in charge, and that's where you belong. Of course, being head designer and CEO is very demanding. But with you and I working side by side, it's like the good old days, and it was the good old days, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, those were the good old days. And I like nothing better than to... Look, Ridge, even though I am uh, back as CEO, Forrester has a new president now. Really? Who? That would be me, big brother. Unless Dad has changed his mind. just so beautiful and a guy'd be lucky to have you or not depending on how desperate he was oh come on i'm sure you've had plenty of boyfriends when you were my age actually there was some let me guess love at first sight for both of us oh that sounds so romantic so what was your prince charming like Murder? Aren't we being a bit dramatic here, Hector? She has done something so horrible to my daughter. To all of us. Your daughter? What's this all about, Hector? I, uh, need some air. Damn it, Priscilla. No, take your hands off of her. No, I know what you're up to, lady. You are desperate to get to Sam first. My God, you still don't get it, do you? Of course I do. I know the pain I've caused. No, you don't. You have no idea what my daughter has been through. All these years, crying herself to sleep at night, wanting a mother, needing a mother. And all this time, her mother was here. And you knew it, Priscilla. You knew it, and you never said a word. Not one damn word. Samantha is Caitlin's mother?
Yes, Stephanie. Samantha is Caitlin's mother. Hector, you've got to understand I was only trying to protect my daughter. Protect your daughter? By destroying my daughter's life? Well, no more, Priscilla. Caitlin and Sam have suffered enough. They need to know the truth, and they're going to. Fine. Go to them. Tell them everything. But before you do, I want you to think long and hard about how this is going to affect your little girl. You're the one that told Caitlin her mother was dead. And that's as cruel a lie as any I've told. And you know it. And so will she, if you breathe a word of this to her. Sorry, am I being too personal? No. It was a long time ago. When you were a teenager living in New York? No, actually, I met him out here before my family moved away. And unfortunately, things happened. And it ended. And you've never met anyone since? Well, I haven't exactly been a nun, but... You've never fallen in love again? No, I guess not. And after today, I... I don't know if I'll ever want to. Thorn Forrester, president. Never thought you'd see the day, huh? It's a big responsibility. You don't think I'm up for it? What I think is that it couldn't happen to anyone more deserving. Congratulations, Mr. President. Thank you, big brother. When did this happen? We just made the decision, which we're going to announce to the press right away. Plus the fact that you are going to be returning to design with me now. What do you think of that, little brother? You think you can handle seeing me around this place every day? Are you kidding? I mean, what could be better? You and Dad designing together, and Dad and I running the company together. Which makes me very proud of both of my sons. You're gonna do one heck of a job, little brother. We both are. As long as you keep a low profile and don't overstep. <laughs> you're kidding me. Tell me you're kidding me. <laughs> of course I am, Rich. You're a forester, man, and you always will be. I'll give you five bucks if you say that to Massimo. Yeah? Well, you know what? I don't give a damn about that biological father stuff. You're my brother, and you always will be. Which makes me a lucky guy. And you... Envious as hell? Your life is... an upswing and mine's on a... Oh, God, listen to me. Begrudging my own brother now. Hey, man, it's okay. I know you're happy for me. And I know this must be tough on you, this Nick and Brooke stuff, but... you have any idea how long they're going to be in Hawaii? No. I'm sure he's making the most of their time in paradise right now. Oh, God, Thorne, I can't even think about this. It's the idea of the two of them together just makes me sick. to make love.
Hello? Hello? Rich, it's me. Are you there? Yeah. I just wanted to call you and tell you that we're coming home. I didn't want you to hear it from anybody else. Thanks for the heads up. Is that all you wanted to tell me? Brooke. I've been thinking a lot about our conversation last time. I put you in a terrible position. I didn't want to think about it. You and him together that way, and I... I couldn't get it out of my head. Brooke, don't, don't do this. Don't, don't make love to that guy. Come on, just... Come home and we'll talk about all this, you know? You gotta tell Nick that you're not ready for it. I accepted Nick's proposal. I made a commitment. Which you were questioning. You were questioning it. I mean, because your instincts are telling you that it's not right. I'm not going to let my instincts cloud my judgment. Or my responsibility to my child. I'm where I need to be. I pledged myself to Nick. Mind, body, and soul. No. Oh, no, 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 Brooke. You didn't make love to him. Tell me you didn't make... I'm telling you. It's too late. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs>